Welcome back to Living Local. The Blackhawk Area Education Center works with 14 local school districts. The facility serves children who have very individualized needs with special academic programs. And then outside the classroom, recreation and play are also valuable to growth and development. The center is hosting a celebrity basketball fundraiser coming up soon to help upgrade some of those recreational facilities. Joining us today in studio to tell us more about the celebrity basketball uh, game fundraiser is Ben Franks with the Blackhawk Area Education Center. Ben, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me, Zane. Let's talk about the uh, basketball game first of all. H how did it get started? Well, in the fall of 2016, we were looking for different ways to fundraise. Mm -hmm. And I thought back to when I was in grade school, there were some local TV stations that uh, used to play the staff. And it was a great way. And so um, we came up with this idea for celebrity basketball. And it's hard to believe it's been four years. I was to say, so this is the fourth time then? Yes. So who celebrity-wise <laughs> is going to be there? This year, some of the celebrities are Jim Taylor from WRMJ and Alito. I have Representative Dan Swanson from the state of Illinois. Okay. I have Julian Vandiverde. He is a former Hawkeye player yes. and NFL legend. Exactly, yeah. And uh, I can't leave out Cal Lee. He's the former superintendent of Moline. He's going to be there this year. Are you also going to be playing? I am not <laughs> going to play this year. I'm going to help um, announce with uh. Ryan. So. Okay, so the, besides the game, of course, in between halves, you have to have a halftime show. What's going on with that? Yes, in between the first and second quarter of this year, not during halftime. Okay, okay. Uh, we have mascots that will play some of our students. <laughs> and some of the mascots are Nyabi Bobby. Okay. Scoopy from Culver's. Oh, uh, yes. Wendy's from Wendy's. Happy Dog, the Happy Joe's. And the always popular Santa Claus will make an appearance. Oh my gosh. Play, and that's between the first and second quarters, yes. right? Yes. So During halftime, yeah. we have the Moline Dance uh, Squad coming in and performing for us. And then you also have something during the third, uh, in between the third and fourth quarter. Oh, there's the mascots too. Yeah. That'll. <laughs> All right, during the, between <laughs> the third and fourth quarters, uh, you have something else planned as well. Yes, uh, we'll be raffling off all the baskets that we have. We have 16 this year, and um, I just want to thank the community for making it easy to ask for donations. It's so much easier this year than, than the first year. Are so. those like gift baskets, yes. I'm assuming? Yeah, various? from the River Bandits, the Storm, the Steam Wheelers, uh, Clinton Lumber Kings, um, the YMCA, Joe at the Running Club. Okay, whole bunch of different options there. Uh, so that's raffle, and also you said we were talking about earlier um, bingo as well. Yes, is going to be going on. So we. Just say, moment. I'll hold up one of these right. cards here. We came up with this idea of basketball bingo. Um, I just wanted to make it so that the event is enjoyable for kids through bingo age people. Sure. And it's just a way to keep you involved in the game. And whenever you hear one of the announcers say one of those, you're just going to mark off a piece. And then at the end of, end of the night, we'll draw for prizes. Oh, excellent. Yeah, so then you can just play along yes. while you're actually watching yep. the game. Yep. Now, this is all obviously for, for an important cause. Tell us about, Ben, um, wh what goes into making this whole event possible? I mean, it's a game. It's a fundraiser. There are a whole lot of things going on. Well, I couldn't do this without my committee, and I just have to thank everybody. I have to thank Bree, Anne, Leslie, Elaine, Jen, Kristen, Marsha, Melissa, Jackie, Molly, and Eric. Um, we have six. We have six meetings during the school year, mm -hmm. and we were able to collect collect those baskets and come up with players, both staff and celebrities. So I'm very proud of that group and couldn't be happier. Now, um, obviously this is a fundraiser, right? For what exactly are the funds going to be used for? Well, the money is going for gym upgrades. Mm -hmm. The previous years we were raising for a playground. I'm happy to report that's all paid for. That was successful. It was very successful. And so we, we need some things in our gym. Um, we 
We need some basketball hoops, some basketballs. Right. And yeah, we, got, uh, we got a little bit used one here <laughs> to show off just why. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Chris. Um, and uh, we're going to pay for the new scoreboard that we've already purchased. Okay, so if people want to get involved who are seeing this, they want to help out, how can they get go about doing that? Well, um, come to the event. It's March 7th, this Saturday. This Saturday. You helped out with the weather. It looks great yes. for Saturday yeah, night. Yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> and the door is open at 5, and the game starts at 6. It's $5 a mission. Get there for good seats. It's a small gym. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a concession stand, contest that you can pay for a chance to win, and raffle baskets. Excellent. whole bunch of ways that you can help out financially and just go watch the basketball game, too. Ben, thank you so much for coming in, telling us about this year's Black Hawk Erie Education Center Celebrity Basketball Game. If you would still like more information, you can call the number on your screen there, 309-792-6100. We'll also have those details posted on our website, ourquadcities.com.